So I actually saw on YouTube um, about this marketplace and it looks really cool. So we're gonna try for ourselves and let's go! So we have arrived at Tongyin Shijang and there are a lot of stores selling a variety of food. So we are on our way now to find the place that sells the lunchbox. And once you reach, you will have to change 5,000 won for this old school coins. And you'll also get a lunchbox that looks like this. So you have to find stores with the cafe sign and you can start choosing your food and bring them up to the restaurant where you change your coins. So these are what we ordered. So we found Isaac Toast on our way back and we decided to give it a try because we heard that it's really popular and this is what they have on their menu. So we ordered a ice green tea latte, ham and cheese and bacon toast. So I'm not the biggest fan when it comes to bread but toast is fine and given that the portion is pretty big, it's actually quite affordable. But I'm not so sure about the taste because it's a bit sweet to me but in any way, give it a try while you're here. Hi guys, so we are now at the Olympic Park. So this place is really huge and I think there's a rose garden so we're gonna check it out and yeah. about this grilled fish alley at Dongdaemun and we decided to give it a try and it turns out to be really worth it. So the stores that sell the fish are located at the entrance of the alley and they actually grill the fish outside so it's easy to find. I don't have the address to the store but prices are pretty similar at each store so you just have to choose one to have your meal. So the meal comes with side dishes and soup that are refillable and we had mackerel and Spanish mackerel both for 8,000 won each. So it's day 6 and we are starting our day with lunch at Andongjang Korean Chinese restaurant and we've actually been here before and the food is really good. So we had seafood fried rice, jjampong, jjajangmyeon and tangsuyuk. So for the jjajangmyeon you have to mix everything up and they are actually nice enough to give you scissors to cut the noodles because their noodles are really long. So what I like about this place is that their noodles are really chewy both for the jjajangmyeon and jjampong. Their tangsuyuk is actually different from the ones we have in Singapore not only in terms of colour but their taste as well. And their jjampong is spicy and flavourful. So it's actually my first time trying their fried rice and I have to say that it's really good because of the garlic and you can really taste the wok hay. So we headed to Gangnam for some shopping but before that we are gonna have a tea break and do some people watching.
so we went to Etude House to do our second round of shopping because we realized that they were having discounts that week. So this store actually has a colour factory located beside the store and it's really colourful and pretty with all the makeup displayed. So we're having a little break at Remy Cone with some ice cream and this place was where they filmed the return of Superman with the triplets. So we customised our own ice cream and ordered one of their specials. Um, I wouldn't say that the taste was good because the caramel ice cream was not what I expected but it's definitely pretty for the grams. So it's dinner time and we're having raw crabs. So I've always wanted to try kanjang kejang for the longest time and we're finally having it today. So we ordered a small kanjang kejang and a crab stew. So the way to eat it is to put the rice onto the shell and mix it. I've watched this a lot of times on Korean drama and variety shows so yeah. So the crab is quite plump and flavourful and it's not that weird of a dish as people might think. In fact, it's a great dish to go with rice. And this place has free flow side dishes which were really good and our total bill came out to 55,000 won which was pretty reasonable. So we are at home day trying out this hot stone BBQ that we didn't get to try previously and it was really good but expensive because it was all a la carte. So it's day 9 and we are at Norangjin Fish Market. This place is pretty big with all the stores selling really fresh seafood. So we chose this store because the store owner was young and cute. <laughs> just kidding, we just chose this because it was near the escalator. And once you finish choosing your food, they will bring you up to their restaurant. So they gave us raw octopus for free and it tastes pretty good despite my expression <laughs> because it was all covered with sesame oil which I love and we also had grilled prawns abalone with garlic which was really tasty and stir fry clams in spicy sauce and the main dish was definitely the king crab
So we are at Jongno Samga to try the Pojang Matcha, which are all these food tents, but sadly the prices are really expensive, so we decided to search for other food around that area instead. So we found this really nice barbecue place that serves my favorite intestine and pig skin and I have to say that it's really worth it despite the fact that it was a la carte. So the intestine was really nice and chewy and the beef was grilled to perfection. And this place actually serves free steamed eggs but it wasn't that great because it was quite tasteless but the main point was the meat so yeah. But you have got to be careful about the oil splatter from the pig skin but I guess it's all worth it because it was just that good. So this was how the place looks like at night, bustling with people. And we are now at the Sky Garden near Seoul Station, enjoying the night view. So it's our second last day and we're having breakfast at Kwangjang Sijang. So there are a variety of food for you to choose from the different stores. And we had odeng, kimbap, kaikuksu and chapte. So it's our first time trying pindet dog, also known as mangbin pancake. And it was really hot and crispy on the outside, which was pretty good. So we're having dinner at Myeongdong but I don't have the address to this place so you can just follow my directions from the video. So once you see ABC Mart, turn right into the alley and you'll find this restaurant called Omonichi. So we had seafood stew, stir-fry clams and samgyetang. Good evening, so I'm now at the airport waiting for my flight and um, it has been an amazing 12 days in Korea. Today is our last day. So, um, yeah, but I'm very happy that I got to go on this trip because I got to eat a lot of nice food and we shopped a lot. I got to spend time with my family and also took the time to take a break from juggling between school and also uh, work. But now it's time to go back to reality and, you know, um, earn more money for my next trip. <laughs> Anyway, I think that 12 days in Seoul is um, more than enough because uh, we didn't really get to travel like out of Seoul. But um, if you guys are you know interested in going to like different places in Seoul, like maybe if you guys are K-pop fan, you might want to visit like those entertainment uh, companies, or if you guys are interested in um, trekking hiking there are actually a lot of like mountains in Korea for you guys to explore basically for us um, this trip was more of like a retail therapy which explains like all the shopping but anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed these videos as much as I did while filming them but um, I have to apologize for like the quality of the videos because I use my phone to film like all of them because um, there's some problems with my camera but anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next video which would most probably be um, a haul video 
about the things that um, I got from like this trip so yeah stay tuned and I'll see you guys soon bye